All right, we are here at the Data Innovation Summit and uh, I have Lotte with me. Uh, Lotte, welcome to the Robert Show. I am super excited to chat with you. I know you've been moderating. Uh, the day one has been super busy moderating sessions. Now it's day two. Yeah. So I'm excited to learn about uh, what you've been hearing from the leaders out there, what have you been listening from the community. Uh, but just for our audience, would you like to introduce yourself, tell us what you're working on and uh, just a little about yourself. Yeah. Okay, so uh, thank you. <laughs> so I'm Lotte, I come from uh, Denmark. I have a background in uh, physics, in particle physics. So I have a PhD uh, connected to CERN before I became a postdoc at Yale. And then for the last five years, I have worked at Grundfos, which is a manufacturing company, which is uh, really on board on this uh, digital transformation and how do, uh, are we ready for the new world? Yes. Right. Right. Okay. Fantastic. And uh, at the Data Innovation Summit, uh, what have you been listening? Uh, what's the big theme? <laughs> what's the big theme? Yeah. So I have been moderating the machine learning and uh, generative AI stage. So it's of course a lot about machine learning and generative AI. Yes. Yes. So that is really amazing because, like a few years ago, we didn't hear a lot about generative AI, and uh, it was completely different topics. And then this year, everything changed. So that is uh, very interesting to see. Fantastic. Yeah. Also on that, uh, how do you see the it impacting the world? Because you've been in the enterprise side and yeah. you were seeing it firsthand uh, in terms of things changing and how is it changing in the manufacturing world as well, like yeah. just in general? In general. So I think, uh, so we have seen on the States a lot of use cases, right, where people use it to research, they can much faster go through papers, they can uh, much faster... Uh, get feedback from customers, interact with customers, and there's a lot of also internal processes where it's really changing the world. So right. there you see a lot of uh, yeah, a lot of benefits from this, and you can. I think for some years it's been hard to see. Okay, how do we make this AI work? But there you can see it works. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And what are your thoughts about LLMs? Because I know we had a little bit of chat uh, behind the scenes. But I'm happy to learn more about what do you think about LLMs, how is it, you know, obviously the modeling, yeah, all yeah. those things. Yeah, I will not go into the technical, but I think, as I said, it's changing the world. But I think especially in Europe and in the manufacturing, we need to take care, right? Because it's a lot of the use cases. We suddenly use pre-trained model from uh, the big American companies. And then we are not self-sufficient anymore, right? Then we have no... Before we had the domain knowledge, we had the AI, and then we was like, we can do this. But now we kind of need access and an API to a pre-trained model and update when they think it's ready. So uh, I think we really need to figure out how do we also win some of the battles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. no, that's pretty interesting. And uh, definitely it is something, you know, more of how you can build in in-house. Uh, yeah. And uh, it becomes interesting. Um, but I know you also work a lot around IoT. Yeah. So would love to know about that. Uh, how, what is different when you go to the physical world? And uh, what do you think how IoT operates in that type of world? Yeah, so as I said, we see a lot of use cases for the elements, right? And we see a lot of places where we really fast can show what AI can do. We have not really seen the same in the physical world, yes, and we have not seen it on small edges. And there I really see, like, we have seen what it can do, so I think we really need to win this battle about controlling the physical world. And I think we should put a lot of effort into this. I think that would, and maybe take some of these trends or model, figure out there's this uh, liquid neural network coming from MIT, where it's much more stable uh, and more transparent what's going on, things we need in the, because we cannot have these hallucinations, as I said before, in the real world as we see with ChatGPT. Yeah. Okay, we're getting there. <laughs> we are getting there, yeah. yeah. And also quickly, uh, I'm pretty sure our audience would love to <laughs> learn more about you and if they want to reach out to you, which is the best place they can reach out. Maybe through LinkedIn, that is easy. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. So folks can reach out to Lotte on yeah. LinkedIn and uh, this is so insightful. Thank you. Thanks for uh, sharing all the great insights and uh, definitely we'll keep the conversation going. But I know you have a session. <laughs> I will have a session. So all the best for that. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you everyone.